morning and thank you for joining us. Our morning outlook will focus on the euro dollar, recent developments and the potential impact on the markets. Let's hear from Emma in our trading room. The euro dollar pair skyrocketed 1.1% in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair gained 3.1% in the last session after rising as much as 3.5% during the session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The pound dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, gaining 0.2%. The ROC's positive signal contradicts our overall technical analysis. The Aussie dollar pair gained 0.6% in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a positive signal. Thank you, Emma, for sharing with us. Now let's hear our news department. Oil prices fell more than $1 to their lowest since before Russia invaded Ukraine as COVID-19 curbs in top crude importer China and expectations of more interest rate hikes spurred worries of a global economic recession and lower fuel demand. China's export growth slowed more than expected in August as global demand weakened and COVID lockdowns disrupted manufacturing production. Imports barely grew as domestic demand continued to struggle. A year ago, El Salvador began accepting Bitcoin as legal tender following a controversial and much criticized decision by President Nayib Bukele. For the first few months, citizens enthusiastically embraced the new opportunity but Bitcoin's value has plummeted since, and some experts say the move has been a failure. Thank you, Emma. Now let's hear today's most important economic events. Australia's trade balance will be released at 0130 GMT, the US continuing jobless claims at 1230 GMT, Australia's exports at 0130 GMT. The US initial jobless claims will be released at 1230 GMT, the French imports at 0645 GMT, Japan's Eco Watchers survey outlook at 0500 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.